What's good? It's your boy Fly Guy GBG back at you again with another video. And today I got something to talk to you guys about. There's something absent from NBA Live 19. And do you guys know what that is? Whoa, 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 whoa. I know there's a lot more than just one thing missing from NBA Live 19. But this specifically is if you play somewhat competitively, it's missing from NBA Live 19. And that specific thing that we have missing from NBA Live 19 is a skill gap. In its current state, NBA Live is a great pick up and play basketball game, but there's no way to distinguish who's better than who because there's no skill gap. But it seems as though the devs are hinting at providing somewhat of a skill gap for NBA Live 20. But before I get too far into this video, tell a hater what? Worry about yourself. Now one thing we can all agree on is that NBA Live has a few things that is way too easy to do. For example, shooting. Any archetype can do it. Rim protectors, slashers, backcourt shooters, everybody can actually shoot in this game. Shooting is one thing that people feel like is actually broken on NBA Live because it's so easy to do even if you're contested. But that's not even what we're here to talk about today. There's something that's even more broken in NBA Live 19 that should be improved upon in NBA Live 20, and I feel like the devs are going to do this. Now remember, we're talking about a skill gap in NBA Live, because right now that one does not exist. And certain things just play out the way they play out, and you guys actually have no control over what's gonna happen next. But I've actually suggested this a few times on Twitter, in streams, and in a few of my videos, and it seems like the developers are actually listening. And I'm not the only one that suggested to put this in the game because I've actually spoken to other people and they finally agree with me that it's needed to be added because it can cost you a game because of the broken layup logic. You heard it here first. NBA Live 20 will have a layup meter or some type of layup indicator so that we can control if we actually make our layups. Yes, I'm aware that NBA 2K already has a layup meter. I am aware of that. But we're talking about NBA Live here. And you might be asking, Fly Guy, where are you getting your information from? Why do you feel like EA Sports is going to take another step and actually put a layup meter in the game? And it's simple, really. Sometimes you just got to throw out some breadcrumbs and follow the clues. At this point in the year, no, we're not going to get spoon-fed information from EA Sports. However, if you look on Twitter, devs are often throwing out subliminal things to kind of give us hints at what's coming out in the near future. So what I did was I put out a tweet showing developers why we need a layup meter in NBA Live 20. And you know what happened? Mike Mahal went ahead and liked that tweet. You know why? Because it's more than likely something that they are looking to implement into NBA Live 20. And if you don't know who Mike Mahar is, he is one of the big ups over at EA Sports that develops NBA Live 19. So what that means is if he actually likes this tweet, it's something that he's already thought about himself. Now back to the topic at hand. If this layup meter is put into NBA Live 20, if this is something that they actually implement, that's just going to go ahead and make skill gaps a little bit larger because you're not going to be able to just automatically miss or make layups. This is going to be something you actually control in game. Imagine you get fouled a big time play at the end of the game and you control that and one. Imagine that. That's going to go ahead and bring competitiveness to a whole nother level. Now you guys tell me, I'm going to have a poll pop up in the top right corner right now. Should a layup meter be added to NBA Live 20 or should it remain as dice rolls that you currently do not have any control over? You never know if you're going to make this layup. Personally, I would prefer the former in competitive modes, but in simulation modes, I would prefer the latter. That's just my personal opinion. But that's all I got for today, guys. I appreciate you guys coming through and watching the video. Make sure you guys check out my last episodes of NBA Street Volume 4. And subscribe to the channel. Duck on that like button, your boy Fly Guy. I'm out.